I'm Bev Fredborg. I'm a fourth year biopsychology honors student at the University of Winnipeg and I'm doing my honors thesis project on ASMR. ASMR stands for Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response and essentially it is um, an experience people have, a perceptual experience in which they experience tingles in their head, scalp, that spread to their neck and to their peripheral regions of their body. So people with ASMR are triggered by certain audiovisual stimuli, such as watching another person brush their hair or watching someone draw or paint. I think everyone has experienced chills from beautiful music or an emotional experience, but those with ASMR differ in that the tingles are localized to their head and neck region. And typically um, when you have chills from beautiful music, it goes very quickly through the whole body whereas with ASMR it can last upwards of 10, 20, 30 minutes, even longer, and it's just localized in the head and neck. Soft voices are something that's very triggering for people with ASMR, as is whispering, or any socially intimate, not sexually intimate acts. So these people will experience tingles um, that are very pleasurable, um, and they'll feel warm, and they'll feel calm and at peace, while they are experiencing these stimuli. So a lot of people who have ASMR don't realize that they're abnormal. They think that everyone gets these tingles uh, from the same stimuli that they do. And only recently it has been um, blossoming on the internet. There are hundreds of groups dedicated to ASMR, thousands and thousands of YouTube views on videos meant to trigger people with ASMR. There are groups on Facebook, Reddit, Twitter, um, so ASMR really is everywhere and a lot of people have it and they don't realize that they do have it. There are no surveys done on this phenomenon because no one really knows about it yet. There are no published results on this phenomenon. So we're one of the first groups to actually experiment on ASMR and understand what it is. While participants will come into the lab, they'll be doing a computer task and um, at the same time listening to a triggering stimulus such as whispering. During the experiment we are going to be measuring the heart rate of participants as they're watching an ASMR video as well as their galvanic skin response so that's just the sweat response on their skin. Hi I'm Erin Megan Schwartz and I'm a participant in this study. Um, I was just browsing on YouTube one day and I came across this video and I was confused because it was just some girl whispering about comics um, and then when I was listening to it, I felt all these tingles kind of in the back of my spine, back of my head, and I was like, that's weird. So I Googled it, figured out what it was, and then I realized like I've had past experiences with it and just didn't have a name for it. 